was the first officially recognized Memorial Day celebration? No answer. No answer. Let the record show there is not a single submission from the assembled press. You guys should know Waterloo, New York, Seneca County, 1866. President Johnson declared Waterloo, New York, the birthplace of the Memorial Day. Over here, too. Oh, wow. My dear friends, let us pray. God who created us, who sustain us, who call us to live in peace, hear our prayer this day. Hear our prayer for all the members of the military who have died, whose hearts and hopes are known to you alone. Hear our prayer for those soldiers who put their welfare of, put the welfare of others ahead of their own and give us hearts as generous as theirs. Hear our prayers for those who gave their lives in the service of the country and accept the gift of their sacrifice. Help us to shape and make a world where we will lay down the arms of war and turn our swords into plowshares for a harvest of justice and peace. Comfort those who grieve the loss of their loved ones, and let your healing be the hope in our hearts. Hear our prayer this day, and in your mercy, answer us. In the name of all that is holy. Amen. Amen. I'll say it, Father. Under guard, salute our fallen comrades. Under guard, take put. Port, port, port. Ready. A. Fire. A. Fire. A. Fire. We said, port. our ceremony here at St. Mary's. We'll now reassemble at Maple Grove Cemetery. Heavenly Father, we pray today for the men and women buried here across this country and around the world who lost their lives fighting for our country. We pray for all those who mourned their deaths then and who mourn them now, their family members and their friends, their comrades in arms. 
We pray in sadness for their lives cut short, for all that they could have been and for all that they could have accomplished, for the loss of them as parents and grandparents, aunts and uncles, friends and neighbors. We pray in sadness for all that they could have contributed to their communities, this nation, and our world. We mourn what we have lost through their early deaths. We pray in thanksgiving for their gifts to this nation, for their willingness to move into battle knowing all the risks of doing so. In our own day, where some believe that patriotism means the right to do whatever they want and whenever they want to do it, let us take notice of the sacrifices of those we honor today, men and women who knew that true patriotism meant a willingness to put family and community and nation before their own needs and comforts. Bless these men and women who died for others, Father, as we honor your Son who died for us. Amen. Captain of the Honor Guard, salute our fallen comrades. Honor Guard, good foot, port, port, ready. Gracious Lord, Heavenly Father, on this day, we pause to remember the sacrifices made for our freedom throughout the past centuries. We do indeed owe a tremendous debt of gratitude to those who have paid dearly for the liberties that we enjoy. And yet, O oh Lord, we know that good government, peace, and freedom are gifts granted from your fatherly hand. We remember those who have served, and we ask you to help us to remember our civic duty, no matter how well done, is always a gift. We are saved by your grace. We are freed from the demands of the law, yet we still know of sacrifice. And so, Heavenly Father, as our nation pauses today, to remember those in our armed forces that have given their lives for the freedom we enjoy. We pray you would have us look only to you for strength, comfort, and guidance. Be with all who serve in this manner. Bless them. Bless their families. Grant your loving protection. Let peace prevail among nations, O God, especially let your mercy rest upon this land, even as we acknowledge with thanksgiving your past goodness on this country. If it is your will, preserve the lives of men and women in uniform 
as they defend our citizenry. Most of all, we pray that you would turn the hearts of all, military and civilian, to your holy word, where we find true peace for sinful souls that surpasses all understanding. In Psalm 27, we hear, Though an army besieges me, my heart will not fear. Though war breaks out, even then, I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of God all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord, to seek Him in His temple. And so, O oh God, today we bow our heads and our heart to You, that we would remember those who paid the ultimate price by giving their lives for this land. We can never be grateful enough for their sacrifices made for us, and we are humbled by their willingness to put their own lives aside for the benefit of others and even those they do not know. We give thanks and we pray this in the holy name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Captain of the Honor Guard, salute our fallen comrades.
Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for all who have laid their down their lives in the service of our country. Unite all people of this nation in a holy purpose to defend the freedom and the brotherhood for which they lived and died. We ask that the liberty they bequeathed unto us may be passed on to our children and our children's children. Let there be no doubt about the valor of the veterans who rest in our nation's cemeteries at home and abroad. Please help in the safe return of any soldiers who are prisoners of war or who are missing in action. Be accounted for and returned home for properly honored. Finally, Lord, we ask that you look over the troops who even now guard the gates of freedom. We thank you for our blessings and we ask you to watch over the men and women we come to honor this morning. May God's blessing be of shine upon us all, now and forever. Amen. Captain of the Honor Guard, salute our fallen comrades. Honor Guard, forward, arm. This concludes our observance of Memorial Day in Waterloo for the 154th consecutive year. God bless America and our veterans, and thank you all. Waterloo, New York is the birthplace of Memorial Day. Since 1865, residents and visitors have gathered here to honor those brave service members who lost their lives while serving our country. The current COVID pandemic may change the way we commemorate Memorial Day but it does not diminish what's in our hearts. This is a patriotic tradition that endures because our appreciation and respect for those who served our country also endures. Waterloo is a community that understands the very real cost of freedom. As Americans, we enjoy a multitude of freedoms because of the enormous sacrifice, the blood, sweat, and tears of soldiers who left their homes, their families, and communities to serve a cause greater than themselves. We must never, ever forget their sacrifice and their service, and we can do this by continuing to exercise our freedoms and celebrating our patriotism. Thank you to Mayor O'Connor, the entire Village Board and Commemoration Committee for organizing this Memorial Day tribute. We remember those departed on this Memorial Day Men who stood tall with pride The American way Duty beckoned They met the call All gave song Some gave all Those brave warriors place flags and be sure to pray. Men who fought for our freedom, shed blood for a brighter day. When duty beckoned, they always stood tall. 
country they protected, our future they helped save. True heroes we honor, our duty on this day. Remember all the fallen on this memorial. Their memory won't fade away. Men who lived with true honor, a debt we can't repay. When duty beckoned, they did not stall. All gave some, but some gave all. God so loved the world, he gave his only son. One who hung on a cross, who said, thy will to be done. Do be beckoned, Jesus answered the call. All gave some, but Jesus gave it all. Always wave our country, they protected our future, they helped save. True heroes, we honor our duty on this day. Remember all the fallen on this memorial day. True heroes. We honor our duty on this day. Remember all the fallen on this memorial day.